On the 29th of April 1975, America began Operation Frequent Wind to evacuate over a thousand American civilians and a further 6,000 at-risk Vietnamese from Saigon using helicopters. Welcome to History Pod. North Vietnamese troops were closing in on the South Vietnamese capital by March 1975. The United States had already evacuated 45,000 people by the 29th of April, but further fixed-wing evacuations were impossible due to the approaching army. US Ambassador Graham Martin therefore ordered the commencement of Operation Frequent Wind. American Forces Radio made their pre-arranged signal, the temperature in Saigon is 105 degrees and rising, and followed it by playing Bing Crosby singing White Christmas. The evacuation began at 2 p.m. The main muster point was the Defence Attaché Office, from where thousands of people were successfully airlifted in a relatively orderly manner. At the US Embassy, however, thousands more people had gathered. This was considerably more people than it would be possible to evacuate, even with helicopters landing every 10 minutes. With hundreds of eligible Vietnamese civilians still at the embassy, at 3.27 a.m., President Ford ordered Ambassador Martin to stop evacuating anyone other than American personnel. The Marines guarding the compound were ordered to move further inside, and shortly afterwards, the crowd broke through the gates. The last of the Marines were flown out at 7.53 a.m., leaving approximately 400 evacuees still inside the embassy when it fell to the Communists. The largest ever helicopter evacuation had lasted for 19 hours and involved 81 helicopters that shuttled the evacuees to US Navy ships moored in the South China Sea. 